Hello, everybody. So, as you can see, I'm still testing this system. I have a new, um, I have a new uh, uh, tool for going live, and uh, I'd like to play around with it. But right now, everything seems fine, and we start in a minute and thirty seconds. <laughs> So if somebody of you is watching already, you can hear me all right? Perhaps somebody of you can give me a feedback whether you can hear me. Yes, thank you, Samai. <laughs> um, very good. We Germans need to be organized, as you all know, and uh, everything needs to be perfect. <laughs> so 
so I just wait the last 20 seconds because um, everybody who wants to join can join us. Yes, Emma, you're right. We Germans are a strange folk, definitely. <laughs> And yes, the countdown is finished. Um, hello, everybody out there. I'm really pleased that you come and join me today. Um, I know it's quite difficult with the times, uh, so I tried to, to choose a German time, which might enable people from the States to join me as well. But it is difficult, I know. So I appreciate that you take the time and uh, come and see me. And uh, as you can guess, I'm a bit nervous because I'm doing this for the very first time for the World Divination Association. Um, some of you might have met me um, during the uh, conference Tony organized so brilliantly around Pentecost, but uh, I haven't been teaching for you. And uh, it's an experiment for you as well as me. And I really appreciate you giving me feedback later on, whether you liked what I did or whether I can do something better um, or less good. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, that's all for now. I try to monitor uh, your comments, but probably first I will speak and then I will look at comments. So please be patient with me, as I said, since it is my first time. Um, all of you who don't know me yet, I'm Kirsten Buchholzer, I live in Hamburg and I am a full-time astrologer and tarot reader here together with my husband. He also is a um, tarot and gypsy card reader and uh, yeah, it's a quite good life I have to say. And right now uh, Corona is a bit over here at present though I'm sure it's going to come back and uh, Lots of people are phoning again and uh, um, we are very busy. Today, for example, I have been um, very busy as well. And I still try hard to give you of me. <laughs> um, I said I would like to uh, go with you through and uh, through the way I uh, do a card interpretation. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm exactly going to do. Um, we're going to um, go through a four card reading. Um, I'm going to ask the question because at the first time doing this, I don't want to, to look at uh, who's going to ask questions and uh, focus on this. I need to focus more on what I'm doing. But uh, perhaps is there, if there's some time left uh, at the end, uh, we can do another question. Um, I try to do this that you can join me in interpreting. Um, but as I said, I really have to, to, to see how I can manage all this stuff online at present. So uh, my approach to interpreting cards anyway is that I only like to um, answer to two main questions. One is how will develop something? Um, and I try to put a, a time into the question. So a good time is how we'll develop something within six months, uh, because it's a time we can still um, visualize uh, as a time span. It's not too far away, but not too close. Um, usually people ask these questions when they have something in mind uh, or already do something and want to um, yeah, go see whether it's a good idea to do this or not. And hi, Tony. Great that you're there as well. <laughs> and hi to everybody. Sorry, I didn't say hello to everybody. Um, and the second uh, type of questions for me is um, how should I uh, behave or go, uh, go my way in order to achieve something? Um, which is a question I'm going to try to answer today, together with you, uh, in my way. Um, for this question, I usually use um, a four-card reading. Um, I don't know whether you know it in Germany. It's very popular in Germany. It's called Das kleine Kreuz, the small cross. 
it's a bit like uh, well no it's not at all like a Celtic cross actually <laughs> but uh, you have a four card reading and it's quite easy to use and you of course can not only use it with tarot but with all um, cards um, you are um, you like to use all oracle cards and uh, as you can see I tried my best to set up a good uh, view for you I'm going um, to ask a very personal question <laughs> which is um, what should I do in order to make a good session here tonight <laughs> and I'm um, very curious about the answer as you can imagine um, I'm going to use uh, for a change the um, whoops, Modern Witch Tarot by Lisa Stirl. I really like this deck. It's uh, quite new and quite uh, modern. Um, and I just thought, uh, why always use the, the same old cards? Let's just see how this will work out. Okay, so usually people ask questions. If I'm not clear about what they ask, I try to rephrase the questions and then I, I shuffle the cards also when I'm with clients, um, basically because it saves time when I shuffle the cards. Um, but usually I then let uh, people draw their own cards to um, kind of involve them in the reading uh, we're doing together. If I'm working on the phone, obviously I can't do this or now here online, um, but usually I prefer that they get in touch with the cards as well. Um, yes, hello to everybody still there. Thanks for still joining me. And um, I will now, as you s remember, I've asked uh, what can I do to um, do a good tarot lesson. Um, actually, I don't remember the question perfectly right now. I um, uh, have already forgotten. So one advice I give you all, um, of course, mainly the beginners uh, 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 of you here, is to write down the question after you phrased it, because you will forget questions, and especially if you see the uh, images later, uh, you might kind of uh, totally forget about what you asked and start to reinterpret uh, because you don't like the answers. That's um, what I uh, think. Thank you, Rava. Thank you for um, for giving me this feedback. Um, okay, so I will draw now four cards. I personally use always the left hand for this. Not because I believe that uh, the left hand is closer to the heart or whatever, um, but because when people use their left hand, if they are right-handers, um, they will more focus on the cards and uh, this is uh, which is uh, what we all want we don't want to think about our washing uh, or about an online seminar <laughs> like I'm doing here right now um, so if you do something uh, out of the ordinary it's always better so then I have now my four cards and what I always do and uh, I would advise you to do this too, is to turn around all four cards after uh, um, and not uh, to lay them out like this and then just, then just turn around one card after the other. Why? Um, why should I do this? Uh, or why do I advise you to do this? I think now you can see all the cards. Yeah. Um, I advise you to do this because for me it's very um, necessary to have a, an energetical relation to the deck of all the cards from the beginning and not just to be surprised by what's coming up next card. This is um, something of course which is quite showy to go to reveal a secret after a secret but it is it is um, uh, it is not so good for for interpreting and seeing an overall image. Plus, uh, just imagine at the end. This is the end position here. There would be lying something really awful, um, and you are with a client, and <laughs> you are not prepared for the awful ending. <laughs> and uh, um, so it's much nicer to have 
uh, all the cards in the view and if the card in the end is not something you like so much uh, you can still work your way around while talking about the other cards so this is what i really recommend about doing a reading um, do you explain the cards showing to the clients it depends uh, christine is asking that um i first also look at the people what their re reaction is to the cards sometimes or no quite often they already give me input when they see the cards um, when i'm on the phone of course i talk about what i see on the car uh, on the cards but i usually now also i do a lot of whatsapp consultations i just make a pick of the um, um, of the layout and send it via whatsapp to the people so they can look at the cards as well um and uh, i yeah I, I think in the working process i do um explain stuff to people but uh, this is more because i'm kind of thinking about what i'm seeing myself and whenever i do a new reading i look at the cards anew um like here again but before i do the explaining i do something totally different as i said i first look at the four cards um, I'm not giving you the positions right now because uh, this is not so important at the beginning I just look at the cards and have a feeling about this um, via the um, the colors via what's uh, striking me where's my um, eye drawn first and um, here in this deck I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, the first thing I see is quite a lot of red and very bluish colors and in a way also very bright colors. So first of all, I think it's a very energetic uh, deck and it is, uh, um, there's nothing I'm really personally afraid of. I mean, it's a personally quest, personal question I'm asking right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this is quite a nice reading uh, for, for the first impression and I can relax into the image. Um, yes, once and red, you're quite right. Um, her Hermit, I think, or uh, I hope I pronounce all your names correctly. Um, it is very energetic because of this red and the wands, right? This is the second thing I look. Um, how is the distribution of elements in a reading? So I have two ones here. I have the emperor, which is uh, not an element, but a major arcana. It's always important also to check uh, how many major arcanas are there. Um, and I have cups. I have no swords. I have no um, uh, coins. So in my thinking, it is a, a reading about getting into something, getting the drive, which is fire energy for me. Um, and it's cups. So it's about, I mean, there's the two of cups as well. It's about creating relations, uh, em em empathy, um, and uh, perhaps also some s spiritual background, but it's about relations. Um, if there were swords, uh, I would also consider uh, headiness, uh, focus of um, yeah of my mind for the issue at hand, but here it's kind of more a flowy image. And uh, if there were coins, I would really uh, think about uh, making it more practical. Uh, do I need to uh, consider to speak in a lower? Um, um, sorry, I'm losing my English right now. Do I have to sp uh, speak more slowly, more without difficult words or whatever? This would be something I would consider. You look looking at what is missing. Does that mean something too? Yes, exactly. Um, yes, that is what exactly I'm doing. Um, I check first major arcanas. I mean, in a four card reading to have one major arcana, is quite important because uh, we only have 22 major arcanas and 56 uh, minor arcanas court cards included. Um, so it is a, a percentage. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> so it is um, something which is important for me, right? Um, 
And uh, if there are many ones in a reading, it is more about passion, drive, quick start, just go into it. While if there are more swords, it's about uh, I'm still reflecting a lot about it. I'm probably not really decisive whether I should start with it or not. Um, and cups, it's all a bit uh, uh, nebulous. Uh, nebulous is a German word, sorry. A, a bit foggy. Um, uh, should I be doing? Uh, do I actually have the drive or what? Um, so if the it's either one's um, swords or cups, it's still in the development it's not really taken down to the ground but if there are many many coins it's still it, it is grounded and i can actually go um <laughs> i'm sorry tony you were saying after this i'm looking forward to seeing your spreads in the group everyone I have mine in front of me too. Yeah, please um, do that. That's, that's a great idea to do a four card reading, but I didn't give you the positions. So um, I will give you the positions in a moment and then perhaps you do your drawings. Um, so if if uh, I'm at in a, in a once, uh, have I have lot, lots of ones, I'm in the beginning of a process in my experience. If I have, uh, thoughts. I'm already a bit further, but still um, finding out a good idea, bad idea. If I have cups, I kind of go into myself and see, is this really something I really want to do after I have done all the reflection and the work behind it? And if all three elements say, yeah, then it's coin time and I start doing stuff. So it's not so important to have a, in a relationship reading lots of coin, uh, lots of um, uh, cups because it's still up in the air um, if it's once it's about passion or whatever coins is always good for now it's starting that's my experience so this is the first uh, the second thing I'm doing first general impression then the elements uh, next thing I do is numerology so are there repetitions and uh, this spread is very kind to me <laughs> because there are repetitions here in the deck. I have two twos and I have a king and an emperor. So in my um, experience, an emperor and a king come together. They, they have the same kind of energy. And of course, the twos um, have also uh, the same kind of energy. And when I see twos, I immediately think of the high priestess because she's a two and when I then uh, interpret the reading I will think about the energy of the high priestess when I talk about these two cards and if I have a blackout about uh, one card like oh what was the two of once again then I can think of the high priestess and the vocabulary I have taught myself for this card and I can smooth into the um, interpretation back again yeah, numerology is really interesting. Uh, it's one of my uh, favorite uh, tools for card readings. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you should also use this. Also, we have more numerology here. We have two plus two is four. So we have um, this uh, vibration of still beginning. A two is also a beginning energy um, developing into a four which for me is a tableau. When I'm in a four position, I have reached uh, a kind of uh, settlement before I move on again with a five. Um, do I read reversed? Um, I just talked to Mary Kay Greer a, a few weeks ago and she convinced me I should be using reversed because she is a... Uh, uh, she's doing this and she does it in a very clever way. But right now I would only read reversals if um, I have checked in the beginning whether all the cards, uh, as you can see here, this is not the case, are turned in one way. So if they have all uh, been up or down and then when I do the layout, something is reversed, this counts for me. But uh, Mary would do it differently. If you want to um, go to the 
uh, Facebook page of the Tarot Verband. I can write this down later. Um, I, you can watch the session with Mary Kay Greer I did. Um, and she has a lot to say about reversals. It's very interesting. Yeah, I think so too. Numerology is, is very good to use in, to read, in, in readings. Um, I also, uh, also spoke with Tony that I would like to do one training on numerology. So obviously there is interest uh, for this. And I will um, uh, come back to you about this. Um, something which is important with numerology, even if you don't know numerology, is that one, two, three is beginning of something, four, five, six is consolidating of a situation, consolidating of situation, and seven, eight, nine is finishing a situation. Ten is changing the situation. So if there are many twos, like here in this reading, it's the beginning of something. Um, if I would have many nines, uh, I wouldn't come back here because I'm finished <laughs> with my experience. <laughs> um, yes, reversals uh, can be uh, a ch uh, reversals can be very challenging, but also very interesting and actually. I'm helping you forward in understanding your your blocked energies. Um, so um, it's really interesting to look into this. And yes, I will definitely put down the address later. But let's come back to my interpretation. <laughs> so I have looked at um, the numerology. I have looked at the elements and I have looked at uh, the all over impression of the reading via color and whatever. Yeah, and then I now look at the cards. Um, I still am not going to tell you about the positions, but uh, because I first look um, how many people are there on one card and I can see uh, one, two, three cards where there's only one person on each card and I can see one card where there are two um, persons connecting with each other. They these two, can you see this? I have to put this down. Um, they, these two are already communicating with each other. She is kind of observed uh, in with her mobile. Uh, she is distracted uh, and in her own thoughts, basically. Uh, this guy is looking straight at us. Um, or this woman, she's a, a, it's, it's a female emperor, um, is, is looking directly at us. Uh, at me asking me to 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 get in contact with her um, and this guy uh, is uh, not looking at anywhere uh, he, actually he has is kind of looking the same way as the person on the two of wands but i can see his face i can't see this person's face properly um, and i can see now a movement one card is focusing me directly so I obviously we'll look first at this card because this card wants to tell me something um, and then everything will roll in its way and in this uh, these four cards this makes quite a lot of sense because now I give you my positions um, this is the starting point and uh, what it's all about and I will put down this card as position number one. If you don't know the um, small cross, I will put it also down in the comments later on and you can just uh, look at it again. I, I really don't know whether it, uh, it is used in England or not, uh, in English, not in England. Um, so this is first position, the situation as it is and uh, what's behind it. The second position is this card here, the two of ones. This is what I'm not supposed to do. Um, and the third card is, this is what I'm supposed to do. And if I'm doing this, this is my outcome. Usually my best outcome of a situation. And uh, what, I also, what I also find is that this card here is also not do don't do it right now but do it once this has been done 
and this is achieved. So it's a quite nice short little reading um, which gets great results. Um, you now know all the positions. If you want, you uh, I can actually quite well monitor you out there. If you want to, you can put your thoughts into the commentaries, um, what you think this reading is about. But of course, uh, of course, I will um, uh, give you my interpretation now. Um, before I do this, are there any more questions on techniques I've been um, telling you until now? I'll just give you a moment and uh, uh, something to drink. I'm actually quite pleased how well this works. <laughs> and uh, uh, I have to confess that I am enjoying myself. <laughs> so, okay, nobody is uh, asking any uh, questions right now at this point. So I will now uh, start with my quick interpretation. So as I said, this uh, emperor lady is focusing me and um, she really wants to tell me something. Uh, uh, ah, yeah, what was uh, the Apfelschorle? No, it's not an Apfelschorle, it is a ginger tea. <laughs> um, um, the, questions I, the question I asked was, what do I have to do to make a good session here tonight? Do I consider people um, with MA? Sorry, I don't know what you mean by this. What is MA? Uh, people, whether I, con I consider them in uh, the minor arcana, is this a question? If so, yes, I do. For me, people on cards are people, whether they are in the minor arcana or in the major arcana. Oh, main, minor and major arcana is the same word. Um, you need to clarify this, Christine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so the emperor is facing me. And uh, if you knew me, you would know that I'm really not an emperor's person. I, um, When I started doing tarot, I really had always problems with mainly the emperor card and the hierophant card. I really didn't like them. Major. Yes, major, Christine, I consider majors <clears throat> in a reading as persons. Yeah. Um, but in this read uh, reading, I would consider um, the emperor as an archetypal energy with which I have to uh, come to terms with, especially when I'm trying to teach people. Um, the emperor energy is something very um, necessary. <clears throat> Uh, yes, yes, Christine, I'm just answering this question, I think. Um, I am uh, a child of a teacher and all my people around me have been teachers here in Germany and I always detested being a teacher. Um, and I now understand uh, after many years of my life that actually uh, also doing teaching, but in another way that uh, my people have done before me. And so the emperor for me tells me this is a challenge you really have to take in order to move forward in your own development as a teacher, but also as a tarot reader. This uh, kind of uh, exercise I'm doing here right now is uh, about um, grounding myself more solidly. I mean, I'm talking into the void. I get feedback from you, of course, but it's not the same as if, as if you were sitting here right in front of me and, uh, and we could have a discussion. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's, uh, um, that is kind of, ah, hello, Karen. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I said as well, Hermit. Um, right, I, th I think this is what it means. Um, so, and I really like that this, uh, Emperor is really facing me and telling me, you have to do this, you have to do this and challenge yourself. So I think you can all relate to this. Um, also, the four, the number four right now is for me the number of uh, the, oh no, I forgot the word. What are we all doing right now? The social distancing. 
<laughs> because the force really uh, reflect quite well that we all have to go uh, and uh, protect ourselves can't go out anymore so much uh, and whatever um, and uh, so um, this is also something I am doing right now during the time I can't uh, work with people um, uh, in persons there are more questions do you use clarifications cards no i actually dislike clarification cards i have to say um because if i need a clarification card i either don't like what the cards are telling me and i think oh i need a clarification about this um should have phone him the cards say no and then i draw a clarification card and say yeah i need to phone him something like this um and uh, also um, because i think if i don't understand a reading um that's what the cards have been giving me i should respect the cards and first let the, the reading lie as long uh, as I um, grasp what the meaning is. And this is another thing you should be doing, not only write down your questions, but make perhaps a photo. Nowadays we can make photos of our readings very easily. Um, I always chuck them into Evernote um, with a question and then I can come back to them later and, and reread them. <laughs> um, so this is uh, what I think about clarification cards. Um, so the emperor is clear. The second position is what I'm not supposed to do. Um, even I don't take out uh, clarity. <laughs> yes. Um, the, uh, the second position, two of ones, um, obviously the twos are, oh, not obviously, but for me, the twos are about relationship in the one, the magus, I'm coming out with something i have an idea about something i want to put something into the world and in the two this is um questioned not only by myself perhaps is this really a good idea i want to do um or by other people who say that's totally daft what you want to do um, or they say yeah great do that so the twos are always for me an, a hesitating energy um Okay, bye. And um, the uh, um, so the two of ones is this hesitation um, in uh, with my fire. We are in the realm of fire, and it's about ah. Oh, right now it's uh, almost eight o'clock. Shouldn't I be sitting outside drinking a wine and uh, just enjoying myself uh, with my mobile or my uh, other playthings, electronical. Oh, that sounds a bit saucy <laughs> i just mean should i should i just uh, um, sit outside and enjoy myself like this woman is doing on her terrace uh, i could also be doing holidays right now um, because we have holidays right now in germany um, not in bavaria tony i know but here in hamburg we do have holidays um, yeah and this is not what i'm supposed to do i'm not supposed to be introvert uh, thinking about uh, uh, what do I do next in my life um, or distracting myself with my mobile. I really like that she puts mobiles into her tarot cards, Lysa, that's a brilliant idea. But what am I supposed to do? Uh, <laughs> yes, tell me. <laughs> um, what am I supposed to do? Um, the two of cups. Um, I am supposed to relate to you um, and to reach you via my heart chakra. The two of cups is for me very much about the heart chakra. Um, it is uh, Mercury, no, not Mercury, Venus in um, Cancer. So it is a, a very compassionate card. And I mean, with doing uh, online sessions, you can only do it via compassion and uh, beaming out uh, your presence uh, and get it reflected which uh, which is happening because you give me really nice comments here and uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this but I realize I can't read them any longer so well I have to put on my glasses um, um, 
Yeah, in Germany we have different vacations. Each county has uh, another time and the Bavarians have always the best time. Um, they are uh, always special. <laughs> the Hamburg has always uh, the, the not so good times, I have to say. So our holidays are almost over, but in Bavaria they're just beginning and they do this because um, we have uh, then better traffic on the streets. If everybody would be going on holidays, um, it would be always chaos. Right now, obviously, this is not the problem. Um, so this is what deck am I you using, Stacy? Um, I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot. Um, I showed it in the beginning, but I can show it again. It's by Lisa Stirl, um, and it's a really lovely deck. Um, interesting chakras yeah that's what i also say uh, think um chakras to use chakras in readings is also something very interesting yes thanks rosemary uh, <laughs> um yes germany is really big we have 80 million people living here so we are a nation to be counted with um Yes, uh, I'm distracted again. So the Two of Cups, I think I'm fulfilling the Two of Cups and um, I say only cheers to you out there <laughs> with my ginger tea. And the end of the session is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is uh, for me. Um, remember what I said about where do the people look into which direction. Um, he's the card, the position of the future, the, the, the best outcome. So I am, uh, I have kind of the same um, image or um, the same vibration uh, between the two of ones and the king of ones because it's one's energy. But this person is kind of looking away from the situation. This person is not still looking at you or me, but he is looking into the future and he is about to use his wand and go out with it. Um, so this for me means that hopefully you all enjoy what I'm doing and uh, Tony enjoys what I'm doing. And then um, I will have more um, sessions later on. Um, with other stuff to talk about. So there are more comments, wait. Yes, um, um, I can do something very cool. Um, Hermit says um, that the two of cups for her are about um, emotions between uh, 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 towards one person. It's about reaching out to a person. Yes, um, uh, I think so too. Um, but most of all, um, the Two of Cups for me are about reaching out towards myself, my self-love. Um, this card comes always very often up when I'm not very self-confident and uh, um, would like somebody else to tell me how great I am um, or that I'm lovable or whatever. But first, actually, I have to do this within myself. Uh, like Whitney says, the greatest love of all. Um, this is uh, my card for this um, kind of spirit. And once I am self-confident and know what I want to do and, and feel um, that I can show this to other people, then the energy comes back to me and this is uh, to me and this is the uh, two of uh, cups energy for me. Yes. Um, this was a very short interpretation. One thing I always do at the end of a reading is to um, look at the quintessentia, would you say? Quintessence in English. Um, and I calculate all the numbers of the reading. For me, this means I calculate numbers that are written on the card. So I don't calculate court cards with it. I know there are systems where you calculate court, court cards uh, into something, um, but I wouldn't. So I have four and two and two. You can add this. Uh, it is the number eight. So as you all know, eight is a bit of a problematic um, number because uh, the eight can be either the strength card or justice. Um, 
some people say I always have eight as justice, I always have 11 as, as strengths or the other way around. Um, for me, I always uh, say when I use a different deck and I use many, many different decks, um, I take the card which is um, supposed, uh, which uh, has the number eight in this case on it. And as you can see, I'm just uh, looking for it. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, so I have uh, here the number eight. Can you see this? Yeah, you can see this, which is strength. For some people, it would be uh, justice, but I much prefer strength, I have to say, as an eight card. And it again um, shows me um, uh, that it all comes together here. There is uh, this very fiery energy in these two cards. There is a more mellow energy in these two cards. And here we have, uh, there comes together a very strong uh, woman um, handling a very strong lion. Um, and this is kind of, for me, a very balanced uh, image for what the whole session says to me. So um, use my fire wisely. No, don't do too much, don't do too little. Um, get in touch with other people, like she's touching the lion here, and try to, to, to feel um, what's, um, what's coming back to me. And uh, my husband always says, actually, you only need to do, <laughs> you need to know uh, the last card. <laughs> the Quintessentia is always the most important card for him. I'm not totally uh, convinced by this, but actually, um, if I come back to the questions, what question, what should I do in order to make this uh, session here um, enjoyable for everybody, me and you, I think strength is a very, very good answer. Um, so, and with this, I rest my case <laughs> for how I do interpret um, a reading. So now um, it's time, uh, it's time to, to answer your questions if you have uh, something. Um, yeah, uh, you don't need to do the quintessences, obviously. Oh, my glasses look really flashy like this. <laughs> um, but uh, um, I think it's always a, a, a good idea. Okay. Yes, four plus two plus two. Um, could you fast repeat counting in this spread, please? I'm not... <laughs> interesting <laughs> that this is such a difficult thing i mean that's only a low key numbers here usually you can have 22 17 13 and uh, 11 to calculate in a reading but i do it again <laughs> we have a four four we have a two four and two six and we have a two is eight and we don't count the king or i don't count the king because the king has not a number. So this is uh, um, something I, uh, this is how I come up with the numbers. Wait, there are more questions. Thank you, Karen. Um, if, uh, Tony, do you mean if you had all mages, what would be my advice? Um, do you mean uh, what, if I had major numbers? or whether I had loads of majors in a reading. Can you clarify this? Yes, please put your spreads in the group. And um, if uh, Tony doesn't mind, um, uh, you all can put your own interpretation, interpretation of um, the way I do it into your comments and I will look through it and give you my feedback if you're interested in this. But I would like you first to do some work before I give you feedback. Um, yes, okay, Tony, your question. Um, yeah, I didn't uh, really say this uh, when I was talking about majors and uh, minors. You're quite right to say this. Um, if I have a four card reading and there are three majors, for example, then this would be a very important question for me. Um, here it's one major arcana because it's a time uh, in my development uh, which is shown here where I need to make a shift um, but the others are more smallish cards 
so the issue is important, but how I can handle is uh, this is not so difficult, basically. Um, um, if you have inner reading, many, many mages, you can be sure uh, that when you look into your horoscope, um, you will have difficult or, or um, great uh, transits as well. Um, but if you have many minor um, cards, it's more about everyday solutions are totally okay. You don't really need to uh, think too hard about the um, development or solution. So, yes, thank you, Pava, for your feedback. Um, okay, Christine, uh, Christine uh, great. Yeah, you don't count uh, court cards, exactly. Uh, yes, go to dinner. Nice reading. So everybody is hungry um, and it looks like people have no more questions for this. Um, let's do it like this. I've written down a little handout um, because I needed to prepare myself, obviously, for the session. So if you are interested in this little handout, let me know. Um, Tony, you need to tell me. I can either put it later into um, uh, put it into the session, or you put it into the session. Um, no problem for me. Um, just let me know what to do, and then you can uh, take it as a guideline if you want to do an interpretation, uh, Kirsten style. So um, happened happened with your question about your house. Um, okay, I will, I will post everything. Um, so a handout would be great. You get all the handout. So I think, um, if there are any, if there aren't any more questions, we also can all go and drink our wine or have our um, dinner or our um, uh, lunch, whatever time you're up. Um, when do I go live again? I will talk to Tony about it. Um, I actually have thought up um, a few more sessions if you're interested. So you can tell me which you're most interested in. As, as I already said, I can go give you some more insight into tarot and numerology. The other thing I really always like to do is a little insight into Tarot and Kabbalah. Uh, Kabbalah. And uh, um, I also like to do um, correspondences, Tarot and astrology. So I can uh, do these three sessions uh, um, and you tell me whatever you want to do. And uh, if you still like it, then I can do some follow-ups, but this would be something um, I would be starting with. Good. Um, everybody's thanking me and uh, um, giving me the comments. I, mm -hmm. I I don't know, Tony, whether um, people can re-watch these sessions, but I guess they can. So people can still leave stuff as comments and I can uh, come back and uh, see about uh, uh, what people have been writing patterns patterns what do you mean by patterns christine interested in patterns i i can note this down okay rewatch is available thank you for all this um lovely feedback from you all um, I'm, I'm glad I could uh, tell you something yeah colors numbers so actually uh, patterns is uh, what we did today we um, uh, in, a, in a summary so this is uh, your my guideline might help you with this Christine okay um great that you have all joined me I as I said I really appreciate this and um, I really have to say I had a lot of fun <laughs> and uh, I am very glad um, to come back and uh, show you some more. Um, for now, I'm leaving you all and uh, 
wish you a great evening or midday or whatever you have and uh, ah see my my beautiful images are falling down so this is a sign i need to switch off now <laughs> so have a good uh, time and uh, oh i was an emperor thank you <laughs> well i don't know whether <laughs> this is something good or bad but uh, thank you very much <laughs> and uh, yeah have a great time and uh, yeah see you later bye